Hey everyone. So in this module, we are going to learn about a little concept that is libraries and modules. So libraries and modules are something like uh, if you Google out libraries in Python, then you will get something like these six modules or um, let me search something else that is number of libraries in python then you will get these things like the python standard library the top 10 python libraries 20 python libraries you cannot live without all this stuff so what actually is python libraries so python libraries are something like if we talk about the python then you know that python is used for everything from electronics to web work and the thing is we cannot store all the instructions in python in a common pc because they are not required like if you are a web developer and you are develop websites using python then what is the work of electronics kind of stuff like iot by using python for you then why did you keep that thing so uh, same in python we have libraries and modules for everything we just need those that we are required in our program and to add them we use proper syntaxes for them and their names so libraries and modules are something defined python programs that perform any specific task like if i like need to perform something kind of iot or i need to plot some graphs then how can i plot them i cannot pro plot them by using python directly i need some libraries to work on so you will understand this thing more later in the video. So this is about the introduction. More we are going to learn about a specific type of file that is JSON files in this module. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Hey everyone, in this video we are going to cover the libraries. I know you did not get what the libraries are in the introduction because and they, I did not explain that well because they need the practical visualization to understand. So like I have told you the libraries are something if you need to do anything you need a particular library for that. You cannot install everything, every instruction related with Python in your computer because that will be a very large file. Because Python is available from ocean type of work to electronics to space type of work also. So you cannot have all the things because you did not require them. It's just like something if you are a mobile repair worker, then you have just a small kit of mobile repairing instruments. There is no work, work for machines like lathe machines and JCP machines for you in that particular work. So you cannot keep them all because they are not required. You just keep the one that you require. So that's like that uh, similarly we have the libraries the library are specifically defined for any particular work you just install the one you require in your program so a simple example of them are is a library that we are going to learn later in the course that is known as the numpy and to properly and make you understand that when i'm using Jupyter notebook so it would be a little more efficient to visualize here so there's a library that is known as numpy what that work that work with the data and big data like we have this list and i have a list of list one two three and then three four five then five six and two now if i run this one and want to print that one i get this array or we can see that our list of list what if i need to print this list in form of a matrix or we can see that are 2d so there is no way for that in python you cannot use any code so we have a library for that one the library will do that particular task that library is known as numpy we did not uh, need, you did not need to learn this numpy now you will we will work on them in the second part 
so don't worry about this one so i am importing the library numpy so to import any library we use the word import and to rename that library like if you want to have a shortcut for this one so you do not require to write numpy again and again we use the as giver numpy as np and here we have this one running and now i will have the x is equal to something like np or let me have another variable a is equal to np dot array this is a method don't worry you don't need to worry about that one x and when i run this one and i run a i will have a 2d matrix here so this is how i print this one as like this one another example i need to show you what if you want to plot any graph so i believe you do not have studied anything that plots a graph on python so how to do that so for that we again have any another library that is known as the matplotlib so i import that one that is matplotlib and dot py plot as plt module not found py plot maybe i got the this one is a spelling mistake mat plot lib so sorry for that i got a uh, t missing there now it's working i did not have written the t here now what the library do it actually plots any graph so for that i use command something like mat plot lib it's again spell mistake and then i use inline and now i will take an, another numpy array that is x is equal to something like np dot lin space this is something that gives me particular value that are separated by a same difference and 100 of them then i have y is equal to for y axis something like power of 2 now i need to make a graph of this one so until this one maybe you have studied but now how to plot the graph so use the matplotlib library so that works something like plot plt dot plot because we have imported this one as plt so i will use plt dot plot like i have used np dot array plot and what i need to plot here x comma y hit enter and you will get a graph so this is something you will not get without any library now what actually the library is doing so library is something that is uh, responsible for all these things like here this 180 representation of this one this square these points like this small dot here this curve so the library does everything related to that particular graph like plotting this graph with the values that we provide to that library so that is something known as the libraries in python i hope you understand that one and whatever you need to do in python there is always a library related to them if you want to be a data science engineer then you have data science libraries like matplotlib this numpy pandas and a lot more so this is all about the libraries and we will work on libraries again and again in this course many times so thanks for watching i hope you understand this one and i will see you in the next video Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to cover the modules that are I will nearly similar to the libraries. So for that first I need to show you something that is we are going to create a module here that is by the name something like cal to denote calculate dot py and save this one so any module you, we can say that any every program can be a module if that program is used in any other particular program 
any dot py file like this one is also a module if i use this one here other program so in this i am going to define two functions that is add a comma b and not a comma b i am going to use c comma d otherwise there will be a bug type thing that always appear there so i have a equal to c plus d and this again showing some options so i will return color is not change because this value is different return a then i have another function that is subtract i think you are now perfect in this thing c comma d then i have a is equal to c minus d and then return this one a not that thing now one more thing here i have a list that is one comma two comma three now this is enough and this is the program that i have made this is a dot py file and is going to work like a module now i have close that application here is the file that is cal.py now if i open up the terminal and get to this location desktop and here if i run the python shell now i can import this thing same like the libraries and this one is going to be a module then and the command here i will use is something like import cal just cal not cal.py this one is a folder you will get for the module type of system in which you have some command this cal.py one more thing here uh, this one is not much important but paste this file here sometime it doesn't work in few situations so paste that one in that particular it's not important by the way now I have imported this cal I can import uh, I can do something like from cal I can import anything like the add function from cal import add from cal import x if you print write x here you will get the x that we have made there in the cal.py file now you can do something like this one also add 3 comma 4 and give this one a variable name now if you print this one you will get 7 so how this one work we did not have any command here this one is from this dot py file that is a module here so modules can be large like the libraries and they can be small like this particular code that i have shown you as an example and i hope you understand this one so thanks for watching and i will see in the next video you can play with this one because this one is a very interesting thing you can do whatever you want here without writing new code just by importing the modules so thanks for watching Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to learn about a special kind of files that is known as JSON and this is going to be last video of the basic Python and after this we will continue with the projects and then move to the second sections and there are few topics like the regex topic and functions like lambda function that I have skipped here you can learn about those topics on the internet because they are not much typical all the thing you require for building any application is nearly done now we just need to improve the skills in different fields so let's begin with the json so json is something like it's a method of exchanging the files with the python and the computer or we can say that the user who writes the files and json is something is a uh, format of uh, you can say that values written in javascript and python has its own separate module or we can say that a separate library that works with the json files uh, which means that it's not like simple text files and it works nearly like the text files so here we have json and put one with this one 
dot py and you can create the json file with the python also or you can create them by using the javascript also so i will show you the method of creating the json file and here we have the json.py now also i will show you how you can convert the json file into python files so we begin we begin with something like import json that is a library and these are files also and if you have a dictionary something like this one i have x in which i have few things like i have serial number that is or you can say that a name then in name you can use anything like alex then i have something like age and age like we have 120 again an impossible age but this one is also possible i believe people live up to one two we can say that 150 and one more thing like what will i take here job and there write something like developer so here this one is a dictionary which is a python data type and if i need to convert this dictionary into a json file i will convert just by y is equal to y will be my new variable then i use json and a method related to json that is known as dumps and then the file here i have created the json file now if i print y then i will have something like run this one in the terminal python 3 and then json one dot py here command not found oh i have misspelled the python py tho and python 3 json one dot py here we have this dictionary yes this one also looks like the normal dictionary but it's a json file now and i know there is no difference but you will get to know about this file in the module where we will build a dictionary and now few more things like converting the json file into python file that how you can create any json file into python file so for that we just use a method that is known as loadsx like if this one is a json then we just use the loads like dot load s loads x then you will get something similar to this one and again a dictionary because these are nearly the same things but you did not able to find that this one is a json file or that one is a json file now you can also do something like y of if i need to print the name then save this one and try to run that one yeah i have error object must be string bits or bit or no dictionary type error so here i get the type error now i hope you got the idea that what i need to tell you here that how you can do that thing but this error is denoting that this is a dictionary one thing i forget to add here is this quotes in the json type of file we have this quote with these files so that it's nearly separated with that one so now if you do the same thing and try to run that you will get that in form of dictionary and here what we are doing is something like y of we are printing like name there then we have name save this one and when you run this one you will get alex so that's how you can convert the json files into python files and there is no case when you will get something like this one in json file you will just have a document file like this one json1.py here that we are going to see in the next modules and you have to load that complete file and something like that one so this thing that i have told you here is just for a demonstration that how you can convert this file from one another but you do not need to do this thing in any program and remember these quotes also that i forgot here 
Now done with the JSON files, nothing much more about them. You can Google out about these things that is JSON in Python and go for any of these. Here you will get this thing like Python and you can convert anything and this is what I am looking for. It's like when you convert a dictionary in Python, it will be an object in JSON file. When you create convert a list, it will be an array. When you create a tuple, it will also be an array. String will be a string because the string is same in that. All the integer and float values will be number. Booleans will be same but with true and false, small capital. None will be null. So that's what it changes that from dictionary to object and this thing with quotes here is an object but we did not able to uh, look at the difference in that. So that's enough for JSON files and see you in the next module.